I remember bleaching my hair blonde and it being really, really dead and then also bleaching my eyebrows. And I just remember looking like I had no eyebrows and it looked horrible and everyone asked me what happened after. Hi, I'm Peyton List and this is my women's health body skin. I was 12 years old when I first got the Disney show. And so I was going through puberty and that awkwardness of not wearing a bra and then watching an episode and going, oh my gosh, how did Borjo not tell me like I needed a bra? And just going through all of the body changes and, and being so critical of yourself already and then having other people also be critical of you online. I definitely got very judgmental of myself and I noticed a lot of anxiety, a lot of insecurity, and also then going through puberty and becoming more of a woman and, and gaining more weight and um, being really insecure about that. I think I started caring more about if I felt good than I emotionally and I felt good physically, then I just was like, all right, that's fine. That's all I need. My favorite thing about my body is my butt. So I started working with a personal trainer when I was on Disney at 16 and I didn't have a butt at all. And I was actually made fun of for it by another cast member. So I remember going into this trainer and saying, I want a butt. And she really got me a butt. Yeah, I started doing a lot of squats with a lot of weight. And um, it kind of just stuck around. Like I stopped working out with that trainer after a little bit, but my butt kind of stayed. And then I knew how to upkeep it. Yeah, that's my butt story. <laughs> When I was a kid, I wasn't allowed to wear heels on the show, and so I started just wearing heels everywhere. Obviously, the second I rapped, I would throw on my high heels um, as a form of rebellion. That was the kind of rebelling I was doing at uh, that age, but I, now my feet are so screwed up, they look disgusting. So I feel like my feet, I'm constantly just trying to moisturize, put lotion on, massage them myself, take care of them. Oh, also, the hypervolt on the bottom of the feet, I saw that in an advertisement on my Instagram and I it looked like the most satisfying thing and I did it. Oh my gosh, that feels amazing. I highly recommend doing that on the bottom of your feet. It is beautiful and you don't need anyone else to massage your feet. You can do it by yourself. I had behind the teeth braces because I was filming and they would just cut up the sides of my tongue to where I didn't even want to talk. And that's why I got them removed because it was just so painful. They, the, their method was just, Oh, over time, your tongue will basically build up like almost a like callus, I guess, and just protect itself, but it did not, it hurt so bad. And I was trying to learn how to talk, so I had a list, because I was trying to learn how to talk around the braces. And, and I also had an Invisalign. And I remember Karin Brar, who I did Jesse with and Bunk, we both had Invisalign, and we'd be taking it out and putting it in the script supervisor's podium in between scenes. Yeah, there was so many with, oh my gosh, teeth. I actually just got my wisdom teeth removed over quarantine and oh god my cheeks swelled up the size of a chipmunk it was horrible but i remember my twin brother and i actually since we're twins and we go through like everything at the same time he got his wisdom teeth removed at the same time and we're just having like a drugged up fight um, basically he wanted to go skydiving after getting his wisdom teeth removed and it was just me like being an arc and telling him he couldn't go skydiving and he started bawling his eyes out with my twin brother, I actually really, I've never really thought about the fact that he's a male version of me because physically that guy, he doesn't even have to, like he works out, but he's just naturally like he can eat whatever he wants and do whatever he wants and like probably just being a young guy. So we do have different uh, metabolisms and definitely different body types. I can't even believe how different we are. Everyone thinks I'm the older sister because I feel like I just developed like the bossy personality and like would always tell him what to do. But when we were in middle school, we lived in New York and we would take the subway to school and I wasn't there one day because I was filming and he didn't know how to get home without me on the subway. So I feel like we definitely were inseparable as kids and we still are best friends. It's very complicated in my relationship with my hair. It's, it's naturally curly and it's super dry. And also I'm always going back and forth between blonde and brunette um, for Tori and then for other characters. And I really just have to moisturize um, and do a lot of intense hair masks. I've been using Olaplex and uh, I love oils too. I'm always putting oil on the ends, but yeah, I really don't even know how to do my hair. Um, I'm so bad at it. Like this is leftover set hair. I was like, oh, perfect. This will work for today because 
Um, my hair holds curl really well, so that works out, but I am so bad at it. I usually just hydrate and let it naturally air dry, especially over the pandemic. I just wasn't even touching it. Kickboxing is Tori's background on Cobra Kai. Each of our characters have our workout background in our past. In order for that, I have to do a, I mean, and probably an hour every day when we're doing the show with the trainer, just on legs and on kicks. Something that I had a really hard time with was all the hip movement because all the power in our kicks comes from our hips. And so I have to get low and twist and we just have to do those for a shit ton of time. And at first I was in such pain and burning, but that has really helped um, me get that hip movement in, but it's really just drilling it over and over and over. Spin kicks, hook kicks, round kicks, just, just drills. I read something recently that, you know, if you, if you tuck depression down enough, uh, for long enough, it'll just manifest itself into anxiety. And I think I did that a lot because, you know, you step into your job and you go, okay, everything's left at the door. Now I'm gonna be this other person. And I think a lot of the time I thought that I had to, you know, step in and be something else for everyone. And with my anxiety, I realized that I just have to be honest and open and talk it out with everyone. And I mean, especially over quarantine, I had realized I had, a lot of things I had to work through that I had tucked away for so long. And uh, I started going to therapy for a little bit over quarantine and trying to, but I think talking it out and, um, and working it out. And if it, if it sits there long enough, it's just, you don't even realize subconsciously what an effect it's, it's having on you. I realized, oh, you have so many issues you never worked through. I never had gone to therapy, you know, um, my family was always like, well, what problems do you have? You have a great career, great family, great everything. I'm like, yeah, but I have a shit ton of problems somehow. <laughs> this past year has been a rough one. I haven't seen my abs much. I haven't seen them much, so we haven't really been able to talk much. Um, I feel like over quarantine, cookies and everything, like yes, workouts were my escape, but also food was because I was like, oh, I can eat amazing food no matter what, like I can make cookies and I can bake things and that brought me a lot of comfort. Lately, it's just been kind of, if, if I do feel it after a workout, that makes me happy because it's not gonna be every time I do a workout, do I see a six pack. So Strong Nation, I've been doing their virtual classes and it incorporates martial arts as well. And I love how much cardio is involved and the high intensity of it. I'm all about arms, abs, and butt and that is, the Strong Nation classes have cinched that in. Thanks so much for watching Body Scan and don't forget to subscribe to Women's Health. If you wanna stay active at home and you're looking for a class, this martial arts inspired Strong Nation workout, strongnation.fit, check it out.